Hi, it's Chris at Tropical Discovery Workshops. Hope you're well, and welcome to my office. Today I want to tell you about the Madagascar Hissing Cockroach. Now, these are quite a popular pet in America, apparently, um, but not so much over here, and I'm wondering whether that's because a lot of people over here, when I take them to shows, think, oh, cockroaches, oh, they're disgusting, they're minging, oh, they're vermin, they're pests. These aren't. They're quite clean, um, they're quite large as well, and if they did get out, they're not going to survive in your house. It's too dry, there's, not, uh, there's no food, they're going to pass away. So, what I'll do is I'm going to tell you a little bit about them. They're from Madagascar. They come from where there's sort of a forestry area, that's a sort of habitat, where they eat things like fruits and veggies and leaves. They don't eat meat as such, or, or very rarely. They don't bite, so they're not going to hurt you. They do have little spikes on, and hairs on their feet and legs, which can, you know, they grip quite well, um, but you'll get used to those. It doesn't hurt. Um, so looking after them, how I look after them, this is a transportation tub that I use to take them to shows. I keep the main colony in a glass, glass tank. And uh, I'll keep about five to seven cockroaches in here, a mixture of males and females. Now the males can be dif uh, differentiated from the females because the males have horns on their exoskeleton and the females don't. The males also have thicker furrier antenna and they use those antenna to taste as they go along. I'll try and show you a close up picture in a moment um, of the difference uh, of the male and female, so you can see close up. Okay, so to look after them in this tub, I'll use a substrate of cocoa fiber. Um, this stuff you buy in a block from pet shops. You add water, it swells up. I personally use rainwater. I boil that to kill any beasties and bugs. I use that on the, uh, the cocoa fibre, it expands and then I let it dry out again. Simply because I don't want to put wet substrate into the, into the tank or box because I don't want it to be too humid, I want to be able to regulate that, so to stop any mould build up. So what I'll do is I'll add that to the tub with some sterile leaves which I've collected in the autumn or fall if you're from America. Um, and these leaves will be off the oak tree out the front. I'll uh, let them dry, I'll put them in a bag and I'll stick them in the freezer. And this freeze, I'll leave them in there for about three weeks and this will basically kill any, any bugs on them. I'll then use those leaves um, for things like cosmetics for substrates or for feed for millipedes, etc. Um, and what I'll do is, I, I won't wet it down too much, I'll use a spray bottle to spray about half the tank um, every, say, say twice a week. Just to give them a bit of humidity around about 60 to 70 percent is fine. Um, food wise, I give them fruits and veggies, leftovers uh, and salads. So for example in this tub here I have got um, a mixture of salads which has been got from a leaving supermarket. I've chopped it up, I've washed it along with the cucumber to make sure there's no pesticides or insecticides on them. We don't want that to harm the, the roaches. Um, and I also add a piece of cork bark. This is so that they can hide under, but also the males will actually sit on top and, like King of the Castle, the male will sit on there, any other males try and come up to push him off, he'll push them, um, and he'll try and maintain his dominant top spot on top of that piece of wood. It's quite fun to watch, they'll have a little bum wiggle, they'll push each other with their horns, um, it's really quite fascinating really. Um, another little tip, on the inside of the tub, tank, whatever you're using, I usually add from the top to about three inches down, a smear of Vaseline around. That's because the Madagascan hissing cockroach is a good climber. They'll, clean, they'll climb the walls of glass, plastic, etc. So I Vaseline that just so they can't climb out. The last thing you wanna do is have some decent sized air holes any babies get born climbing out of those because um, you'll just lose them. And that's pretty much about it. Oh, I'll also add vitamins and calcium powder to the food. That's just to aid their um, building of their exoskeleton, um, which they need, because they'll shed that exoskeleton every so often in order to grow. So every now and then you might see a white cockroach and think, oh, an albino. It's not. It's just recently shed and it'll take a few hours and it'll actually start darkening and go black over time. Um, and that's pretty much about it, really. Um, food, I don't add, add any water because they get their moisture from the food, from their salads. Um, the substrate, temperature. 
I keep them at around about 28 degrees because that's, that's I want to keep them um, at a temperature like that in order for them to breed. If you don't want them to have babies, keep them at a lower temperature, something around about 23 to 25 degrees Celsius. Um, humidity, 16 to 70%. Um, and yeah, they will have about between 60 and 100 babies at a time. Lots of little white ones. Now, the female, when she's ready to give birth, she'll put her head down towards the ground, stick her bum in the air, and she'll start pushing them out. And it takes a little while. There is a video on my YouTube channel of them uh, of one giving birth. It's quite long, but gives you an idea. Um, and yeah, if there's anything I've missed, anything you want to know, send me a message in the comments field below, um, and I'll do my best to answer them. But yeah. Get hold of a couple of these, they're fascinating. They do hiss, as you might better hear. This one's actually run out of hiss by the sounds of it. Um, I'll just grab these ones here a moment. So they give a little bit of a hiss. Again, these ones have been handled quite regularly so they're not hissing as much as well. Um, so that's pretty much about it. Um, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments field below. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, and please subscribe. My daughter has taken the Mickey Ami from a rotten. She's got so many more subscribers than me. Um, and she thinks it's highly amusing. So please subscribe. Please share. Um, and yeah, look out for any other future videos uh, that I'm going to be putting on regarding bugs, tarantulas, scorpions, and reptiles. Um, and yeah, stay awesome. Take it easy. Bye-bye.